What's up YouTube's Todd here with AC Tracker. Uh, today I wanted to do a little short video on reserving judgment. That's a weird topic for um, trading but I think uh, you'll see here that it makes sense. So I was watching a, a video on YouTube. I watch um, basically every video from everybody that uh, trade stocks or options in any sort of method on YouTube. I, I subscribe to them all and uh, I try to watch them all as much as I can. Of course there's a lot of videos so I don't always get to watch everything but uh, I do watch a lot. Um, and so I came across David Jaffe. Uh, he's the uh, has a YouTube channel, Best Stock Strategy. He sells a, a course uh, as well as trade alerts and a chat room. Um, and he does a series of videos where he reviews different other YouTubers and tries to determine if they're a scam. Um, and f funny enough, uh, pretty much everybody he that I've seen that uh, he reviews is a scam. Um, so anyway, he did a review on ZipTrader and determined that indeed Charlie, uh, the guy that does the ZipTrader videos, is a scam. He does state it's his opinion, which, um, you know, obviously it is so his opinion, and uh, he states that, so that's good at least that he's not um, overtly claiming that Charlie is a scam, but still to put out a video uh, about ZipTrader I thought was, was interesting. But anyway, we'll go on here. He concludes that Charlie was bullied as a child because of his lisp. I mean, <laughs> seriously. Uh, but anyway, um, and that he Charlie is a sociopath and that he's exacting his revenge on the public uh, by teaching about things such as penny stocks, buying options, technical analysis, day trading, candlesticks, and MACD which again I thought that was funny uh, I'm not sure I've ever heard it referred to as MACD everybody just says MACD but anyway um, and then validation uh, or confirmation whatever you wanna call it and it's funny because I, I've talked about almost all of these topics I haven't covered penny stocks yet um, but I've talked about all of these topics at one point or another um, or I plan to and I've done all of these things um, and been profitable in them. So penny stocks, I've traded some penny stocks um, and I have made money. Uh, I think I'm more positive than negative on penny stocks. It's not something I'm into, um, but I do think uh, every avenue is worth exploring. Uh, buying options, I still do that occasionally, although I, it's not the majority of what I do. Um, technical analysis, I've already had a video on where I do believe in technical analysis, not because the analysis or the technical indicators are... Um, so I, I guess David talks about both technical analysis and indicators, but anyway. Um, indicators is what I meant to write there, and I do believe in technical indicators because um, not necessarily because the indicators are right and predictive, but it's how people interpret and react to those indicators that make them right. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. So if I see um, that the stock is um, going to move up on the MACD and then I start buying, that's going to drive the price of that stock up. So if the rest of the market is using the MACD, even though the MACD didn't know a move upward was going to happen uh, per se. The fact that the masses interpreted it that way and then acted on it made it so. So it's, uh, I'm definitely a, a believer in those candlesticks. Uh, I mean, what is there even to, to talk about candlesticks? Um, uh, yeah. Everybody uses candlesticks, even David Jaffe, so I'm not even sure why he pointed that one out. Um, day trading, definitely I've talked about before where it is a skill that you have to learn and practice, and you maybe will never be good at it, and it isn't for everyone. Um, but that doesn't mean there aren't profitable people doing that. Um, and then confirmation or validation, uh, Charlie will occasionally talk about how um, 
you'll see signs of strength, but you don't want to buy until there's confirmation on that. And there's many people that preach that. Um, some people want to get in before that um, because part of the move is already gone uh, until you get the validation. I don't think that um, either method is necessarily right or wrong. You just, uh, everybody has their style. If you don't wait for confirmation, then you're going to um, get into more losing positions. But um, but then when you do wait, you have a lower take home. So, I mean, I personally would rather have a higher winning rate and a lower um, ROI, but everybody's different there. So let's go to the next slide here. Um, then he goes on to say about how Charlie would only provide his trade history from a shady broker that would offer him kickbacks. Uh, I don't know. It's just like you're just completely, completely making things up. Like back with the um, being bullied as a child uh, because of, of a list. Not only is that, I mean, it's a possibility, obviously, but um, a lot of people don't care about lists. A lot of people have lists. So why is why would that? Uh, you know, turn him into a sociopath. I don't, I don't know. It's just crazy. So then to just make up something that Charlie wouldn't uh, publish his trades unless he got a kickback. It, it's just, it's a bizarre thing to say about somebody and, and just make up. Um, then he goes on to claim about how in these chat rooms, and he's speaking a little bit more generically here, but he's talking about Charlie still that 50% of the people in chat rooms are actors, and then the other 50% are um, paying users, and they'll see all the actors uh, supposedly m making money, and um, but then the real users are losing money, and so they think it's just their fault. I wouldn't be surprised if that's happened somewhere, um, but... But the reality is, if you're a user and you've subscribed to a service where you continually lose, how long are you actually going to uh, be a paying subscriber? I mean, I know personally, um, I would cancel my subscription after two or three months once once I saw that uh, it wasn't working for me. And then if anybody asked me which rooms did and didn't work, uh, chat rooms that is, I would say that that one didn't work for me, you know. Um, and so that kind of information spreads quickly. Uh, I, I don't understand why anybody would um, con somebody specifically, but we'll get into that in a moment. Um, and I guess, and I don't know, maybe I'm in a bad mood today, but um, I also had a conversation at work where somebody made a lot of incorrect assumptions about uh, several such situations and then came to these insane conclusions on those assumptions the entire conversation was uh, just messed up and didn't make any sense if you stopped and thought about it logically and objectively. Um, so anyway, so let's move on to the advice uh, section. Really here, um, just be humble. You don't know everything. There are plenty of areas where I don't know things and I'm not the best um, trader in the world. That's probably another thing that bothers me about David is he claims to be one of the world's best traders, which is just obscene. Um, you know, and he'll use his accolades of having walked, worked on uh, Wall Street before as uh, some kind of validation that he is the best. Um, that's just just insane to me. That's like when you see restaurants that say they have the best crab cakes and then literally a block down, there's another restaurant that says they have the best crab cakes. That's, uh, I have two restaurants, uh, two or three blocks from my house that are like that. Um, it's just crazy. How could everybody have the world's best uh, crab cake or cheesecake or whatever? So uh, it's just, it's, it's insane. Um, so yeah, be, be humble, reserve judgment on other people, and assume the best in other people. You know, uh, if you listen to Freakonomics or um, some of these studies about other countries where uh, they are more satisfied with their life. Um, some of the common factors in those is that uh, they trust their neighbors. Um, so yeah, why not just assume the best in somebody and take their word and uh, and just digest it. So you know you can always be logical on the next bullet point. Um, and and uh, actually, I'm going to skip one um, and. You can learn from other people. Um, 
just because you don't understand it and how to be profitable doesn't mean that others uh, aren't profitable in that. So, so yeah. So I like I said before, I like to uh, take in everybody's uh, opinions and I digest it and I decide what makes sense and what doesn't, what fits me and what doesn't. Um, that's supposed to be doesn't here. Um, so yeah. So that's kind of the third and fourth bullet point there, but. Um, you know, we all have something to learn, and so assuming that you can't get any information or that somebody's lying because you haven't been able to make their strategy work uh, sort of seems a little bit weird to me. Um, yeah, I'm not the best day trader. Uh, I've never claimed to be, um, and I have seen people that are very good and consistent um, and are making more money than, than they're losing as I'm following their trades, so... You know, does does that mean that I can do it? Maybe, maybe not. Um, and certainly, not everybody can do it. But I've seen it pop, seen it done, and I know it's possible. Um, but back to the second point, uh, bullet point here, which I said earlier. Why would somebody knowingly con another person? Uh, yeah, you can make a, a couple bucks, a couple hundred bucks, and maybe you can do that for a year. Um, so say you make five hundred dollars. Uh, every month for the next year. That's a that's a decent amount of money. I'm not going to act like that's not not nothing. It is something. But at some point, um, people are going to be uh, flying away from your service. Wouldn't it be easier to actually find something that works, teach that, and then keep those students um, for longer? So you can have lifetime students if you teach them one strategy that works, or you can keep them for one month, two months, three months until they figure out that you're uh, selling crap and don't know what you're talking about. Um, you know, if it were me selling a service, I would rather uh, be solid on one strategy and sell that um, and not try to rip people off. I, I think that just makes most sense. Um, but anyway, jumping down here, I'll try to go in order going forward here. <laughs> Um, but I'd pay for basically any service for one month. Why not? What do you have to lose other than the money associated with that? And obviously, if it's some crazy priced service that you can't afford, um, you're not going to pay for it. But say it, it's 10 bucks, and you get one month uh, of a service. Yeah, I'd pay. Who cares? Um, I view my education uh, to be worth more than $10. I'm in college right now, um, and I pay a lot more than $10 per month uh, for, for college. So why would I not uh, pay for education in another uh, non-traditional sort of fashion? Um, and the next bullet point, I, I don't think a lot of people put enough credit towards. Uh, you know, sometimes you'll hear something and you'll, you'll learn that, which you, you didn't think you would have been able to learn that from that person. So, um, and maybe it's, uh, tangential. Maybe it doesn't even have to do with the topic at hand, or uh, maybe it triggers a thought process that gets you thinking down another train of thought, and you'll learn something that way or research something further. So there are so many different um, side benefits to just listening to people, uh, educators, and um, taking it all in. Doesn't mean you have to treat it as gospel and uh, run around claiming that your teacher and mentor is the best. Um, but I think I pride myself on digesting everything uh, that that comes in and trying to decide what I like the best. So I just have a side note. I don't know Charlie. I've never uh, met him in person. He has no idea who I am. I have. Um, barely any subscribers or watchers. Um, so yeah, I, it's not like there's any relationship there. And it's the same with um, David. I have no relationship with him either. Um, I don't have any courses or chat rooms to sell you. And I actually agree with a lot of the things that David talks about selling options and um, waiting for the bottom of a, a channel if you're uh, looking to sell puts, and that's a lot of what uh, I've been doing. Um, selling puts on uh, companies that are at the bottom of the range, and then waiting for it to 
uh, get 75% up through that range and then I'll close out the position and wait till it cycles over again. Um, but just because I agree with David uh, doesn't mean I uh, don't agree with Charlie. I actually do like Charlie. And I watch a lot of his videos. Uh, I think Charlie gives a lot of really great um, examples, especially for beginners and uh, a lot of different areas, whereas David is basically selling puts, um, naked puts on top of that. Um, Charlie has uh, a lot of different content areas. And if I, although my trading style is actually sim more similar to David, um, I can appreciate that Charlie has a wider breadth of uh, knowledge and experience. Uh, but the takeaway here is that there's wisdom in both. And ultimately, I wanted to end on this slide where um, the more strat strategies you strategies you have can never be a bad thing. I mean, think about it. If you watched both of these guys and uh, you came away with uh, one working strategy for e from each guy, now you have two working strategies. <laughs> why it, Why would that ever be a bad thing? And, uh, you know, instead of tearing Charlie down, I think um, David would have been much better off to talk about the things he agrees with and disagrees with um, and then think about... Um, how he could be successful using the strategies that Charlie teaches. Um, again, I, I've also done the strategies that uh, Charlie teaches, and although um, they're not my most profitable, that doesn't mean that that won't be the case or that they weren't profitable for other people. Um, so I, I have seen profit, just not great profit, so I've, I prefer other strategies, um, but maybe uh, other people... Uh, can do better than me in, you know, buying calls or whatever. So, in closing, um, you know, do all the regular YouTube things. If you could, please, please, please like. Um, and I have all my broker links in the description if you want to sign up with a referral link. Um, check back next Friday. And if you'd like, sign up for my website, tastytracker.com. I know I said I'm not selling you anything. Uh, to clarify, I'm not selling you any programs uh, for trading stocks. I don't have any alerts um, or classes at this moment, although I, I probably will do alerts at some point in the future. Anyway, uh, my website is for tracking your trades. It's $9.99 a month. If you're interested, go check it out. There's a free demo account. If not, no worries. And here's my disclaimer. Thanks, everyone.